Um, I was able to get mine for, a, <laughs> for I believe, about a hundred bucks. So nice. So, so nice. Okay. All right, what's going on guys? I am doing a little bit of an unboxing here. I'm very excited about this package that just showed up today. Very excited to get my hands on it. Uh, as you can see here, it's a pretty decent sized box that it came from. I got it from Amazon and it was an anniversary gift from my wife, which is awesome. By the way, go ahead and get married if you haven't already. <laughs> uh, so let's see what's in here. Actually, I think there might be a few things inside this box. One is, this indoor HD antenna. This is not what I'm super excited for, but uh, it is something that I am excited for getting set up on one of my TVs upstairs so that we can get HD TV over the air. This is what I'm really excited to get to. This bad boy from Hasbro Toys. So without further ado, let us open this guy up. It's actually a little bit smaller of a package than I was thinking it was gonna come in. Here is my new Iron Man helmet from Hasbro Toys. This thing looks so nice. I can't wait to get this out. So this is part of the Legends series from Hasbro. They're now making their own replica props. Bravo to them. Uh, so these are a little bit better than what you'd find in things like Halloween stores, uh, but not as expensive as what you'd find in other places, but should have a good amount of detail and might be good for anyone on the lower end of things, looking for a good collection piece. So here is the box itself. Very nicely done and put together. Iron Man on both sides. Here is the back. By the way, it does light up and there is detailing on the inside of the mask, which is great. I'd actually love to compare it to my own Iron Man helmet. So this is, again, it's over, you can purchase one of these over on Amazon.com. I'm assuming on other sites as well. I think some people have said they picked it up at Target as well. Um, I was able to get mine for, a, <laughs> for I believe, about 100 bucks. So nice. So, so nice. Okay. This is what I opened it up to. Perfect, perfect side to open it up to. Okay. So get the box out of the way. Before I get to the helmet, it looks like there might be some instructions here on the helmet itself, replacing the batteries, adjusting the, the helmet straps here so that it fits your head properly. It looks like the back piece, the chin piece slides out so you can adjust it here and the back might pop off. This is actually very similar in design to a lot of other helmets that people have made over on the RPF. Uh, and then it goes into details of how you flip on the lights and I, oh, apparently I think it makes also, it's got maybe, I don't know if it's a voice changer or if it has Jarvis speaking in here, but whew, it's pretty decently packaged. I would have thought this would have came in a bit better packaging in terms of, you know, things like bubble wrap or anything like that, but so far so good. Actually, let me readjust my camera here as I unbox this so that you guys can see this a little bit better. All right, so let me get this open here. I'm gonna try and get the plastic off as carefully as I can. Maybe it'll be best to go from the bottom and work my way up. So again, it's all just wrapped in plastic here. There's no bubble wrap involved with the next over. Um, and so far it's feeling pretty nicely put together. I thought, I, 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 you know, based on some of the reviews, they had said that it was really well put together. Uh, I was nervous that it was going to feel more like a cheap Halloween helmet or like some of these other helmets that I have on my channel that I've looked at uh, in terms of Star Wars or the Batman armored helmet. This is uh, pretty thick and solid, which is really nice. So let me again, try, I'm trying to very carefully get the tape off so I can get this out of here. Very, very nice, very nice. I am super excited about this. So here it is, oh man, that is very cool. This thing is looking very clean, very nice paint job on it as well. So let's see how this all looks. Looks like this all just snaps together in the back. Like so, this is very nice. So again, this is all a life-size 
Iron Man helmet that you can buy for yourself and use for makeup. This is really nicely well done, including all the little rivet marks here or screws. The helmet itself, this portion doesn't, um, I'm just trying to see how this all works. I think this is just magnetically, yeah, this is just magnetics. There's ma oh, oh man, that is nice. Look at the detail on this inside of the helmet. Wow, I keep talking about wanting to do this on my own, an underside version just like this. But man, oh man, the detail on this is beautifully done. So nice. Um, but yeah, as you see here, there is, there is just some magnets up in a whole bunch of these different corners connecting it all together. And it just snaps into place. So there's no mechanism that lifts the, the face plate up or down. That might be something that I would consider looking into adding on to this myself. Uh, I kind of like how they've done the, the back portion here. It all looks like it just kind of snaps into place. I'm very, very happy with this, by the way. It's a hundred bucks and I could not be happier with how this helmet is. Man, this is very nice. They also have a Captain America shield that I'm now considering picking up even though I've made my own. Um, let me see if I can find the button to flip on the eyes here real quick and then I will slip this on. All right, so I figured it out now. Uh, on the inside panel here, there's underneath the jaw, there's an opening that you can unscrew. You need three AAA batteries that do not come with the helmet. That's okay, I had some laying around. And then you can basically adjust how bright the eyes are, where it's off, and then when they initially flip on, they make that little startup sound. And then you can dim them until you'd like. Pretty cool, a pretty cool little feature. I like how they did the eyes. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what mechanism that is if there's just LEDs on the sides and it's illuminating the, it looks like little bubbles on the eyepieces here. So here I'm gonna actually leave this on and then unsnap this. I'm assuming it will, yeah. That's pretty cool. Sound mechanism, it all disconnects. Everything has to be, unless all the points are connected, the, the eyes obviously don't light up. So here is the actual face piece the back of that. And again, I'll try and get some close-ups of these as well for you so that you can check those out. But overall, this thing is very nicely done and is well worth the hundred bucks. Uh, I'm actually, I think I might like this better than the Iron Man helmet that I have bought myself off of someone from the RPF. So the helmet also comes with this inside piece that adjusts so that you can snap to your head, which is very nice. So I can adjust this to fit it to fit my personal head and then can hook it back into the inside of the helmet here. So that's very cool. It's got a little knob that you can turn to adjust how wide it is, as well as these sort of like a baseball hat you can unsnap and slide to get to fit to your position. Hey, look at that, I've got my own little Tony Stark Iron Man yarmulke. Shabbat Shalom. All right, so I've got it all squared away and fitted. Let's see if I can slide this bucket on. All right, so here we go. This thing is so friggin' cool. Let me see if I can get the lights on here. Uh, I believe this is it. That's very cool. And I can still see out of this, so it's lit up, but I can still see through it. And again, I can dim this a bit more so if I wanted some more visibility I can do that or I can make it very dim or completely off as well no voice changer in it which is fine by me I don't need to sound like Iron Man I will say it is hard to breathe it is very hard to breathe in that thing oh I can breathe I have no idea how Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> wore one of these things all the time and was able to breathe in it. I think it was all CGI. Maybe it wasn't. But I think someone was wearing a helmet in some of those scenes. Um, so this is very cool. Actually, it fits pretty nicely up against my chin. I've got about a 23 to 24 inch head. So if you have one as well, it should fit you. Anything over a 24 inch head, it's probably going to be very, very tight. But again, I'm primarily not looking to wear this around. This would be great for cosplay though. Uh, I'm really looking to have it up on display here in my uh, man cave here. I will very briefly compare it to 
this other Iron Man helmet that I picked up off of the RPF. It did previously have light up eyes. I removed those to work on it. This thing has been through a whole hell of a lot. It's fallen a few times, it's cracked, it's broken a few times, uh, and it's missing some of the details on the helmet that I was looking to redo myself. So that will be interesting to go through and take a quick look at, but I just wanted to share this with you guys right now. So let me snap this back on. That is so cool. That is very, very cool that they did that. That's awesome. I would love to be able to work in the actual mechanics that allow you to lift this on and off. I think there might be enough room in there within the back of the helmet or the top of the helmet and uh, what's left and available for me to actually work that in place. Let me... Those magnets are really strong, by the way. Very strong. So you don't have to worry about this thing accidentally falling off. Um, I did want to just take a look at this as well. So you can, I believe, adjust the mouth area. Should allow it to slide out. And it does, which is very nice. So if you do have a bigger head, then this actually should allow you to wear this. Obviously, you'll have some gaps here on the side. Um, oh, actually they built it just like the, oh, this is very, that's very badass, look at this. Do you know how in the movies when he takes it off, the actual chin piece, um, it's not level, it actually slides out and kind of snaps down a little bit to allow him to, to get it on and off. It does the same thing with this. They did an amazing job on the detail of this, so bravo to the folks over at Hasbro that actually put this bucket together it is really nicely done it is very nicely done and for a hundred bucks and i bet you anything there's some probably some coupons if you're purchasing it from target that you might be able to get this for even cheaper uh, and again the back here can snap the back does not completely remove it's on a hinge in the back side here but it allows you to open and close this and then it snaps in the back here i kind of wish this was magnets in the back but I can deal with this. I really can't recommend this thing enough. It's made by Hasbro Toys and it's part of their Legends series. This thing is so cool. It's under a hundred bucks and very, very great in terms of detail. I really can't recommend this thing enough. It's really cool. But uh, even look at this, they've got the detail on the side of the mask. And again, I should mention this is the Mark III helmet, not the Mark 45 or 47 or whatever, whatever they're up to at this point in the movies. So this is probably my favorite version of Iron Man, sort of the original one that was in Iron Man 1 and part of Iron Man 2 before it then started morphing. More toys, more props, more replicas. It means it's, you know, a good thing for us, but I prefer the classic here, the beautiful one. So again, this is the Hasbro Legendary Series Iron Man replica helmet. It is a wonderful piece and I highly recommend you guys check it out. I'll have a link down in the description down below over to Amazon where you can pick one up for yourself, assuming they're still available and in stock. And again, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, and do a lot of other prop stuff, a lot of prop building, 3D printing, and a lot of gaming stuff. So make sure to check that out, as well as make sure to, if you haven't already, jump in on the giveaway that I have right now for a 3D printed Batman mask. So hey, thanks again for watching, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Now I just need a whole Iron Man forum to go with this helmet. That looks like it might be my next project.